Three years ago, my mother suffered a horrific stroke. The type of stroke that she sustained was a hemorrhagic stroke of the brainstem, so it really affected most of her ability to do everything because it was a brainstem stroke. The stroke affected her speech, her ability to use her whole right side. They call it a hemiparesis, right? The inability to use the right arm, the right leg, the way that she normally does. Hey, Queen and Meg. What do you think? And it all started with just like her painting with the kids and just being with the grandkids and having fun. And she started putting together some really creative artwork, an amazing artwork that we were all floored by because out of nowhere, this is not something that, that you know, she did in the past. She didn't paint ever before. So this was something that she just picked up and learned on her own and using her left side, the non-dominant side, to really create some amazing artwork. Before my stroke, I have no experience of painting. I ne never pick up the, the paint brush until the first one I paint. After I tie it, I start interested in painting. I would say they're, they're more um, live than like other paintings. They're, they're, um, they have color, they're colorful and like, um, I guess they're more of like um, a one of a kind because like nobody else can make paintings the same way. I like that she blends colors a lot and that sometimes when she, she paints something um, like that's in, right in front of her, like she painted um, their backyard and that's one of their paintings. And then on a mountain, one time there was like yellow in the sky and that just looks really beautiful. My mom puts a lot of love in her painting. She's really determined to make something great and she, it's a great focus for her to get into, just to, to focus on the artwork, the colors, the story behind it. She'll see something and she really could bring that into life, which is amazing. And all of us, like we all come home, like the kids mentioned, we come home and we say, what's your painting of the day? And for us, we're all like amazed to see what she creates because it is a clean canvas that she starts with. And then at the end of the day, she'll have something truly amazing that comes to life. One of the things that I, I wish my sister and I had when this all happened was to have someone kind of reach out to us and to tell us that, that this is not the end, right? This is not, um, life as you know it is, is over. This is a change in the way that we knew things to be before, but it's not something that is hopeless. With, it's amazing how with family love and determination, how much a family can overcome. To see her be able to overcome all the fears, all the insecurities of a post-stroke phenomenon and, and be able to drive hope out of that and um, inspire other people. We just wanna know, tell other people that it's, don't ever give up because a new life might be waiting for you, a new hobby, right? A new love, a new passion might come out of something that was so devastating. When I do my painting, I forgot about my stroke, except the pain that I cannot forget because it's always bothered me. But uh, for the mentally and emotionally, the painting is really, really transformed my life.